to a technical information video from TIS. This time it's regarding zeroing of leads. We get an awful lot of phone calls into us regarding the zeroing of the leads where um, they've actually been overcompensated for. So what this video is going to show you is how to remove the overcompensation of the leads if you have done that, and then how to zero the leads properly on the TIS MFT Pro and MFT Pro Plus. So as mentioned in the introduction, one of the most common phone calls we get into our office is regarding the zeroing of the leads on our MFT Pro and MFT Pro Plus um, when the following error message comes up on screen. So I've simulated that now. So if I press go, it comes up and tells us that our cal is greater than our is. What that means is the leads have been previously overcompensated. So it's worked out now that actually the leads have got a higher resistance than actually the circuit that we're measuring. So how do we remove that? Well, we press the back button, we open up the leads so that they're totally apart, press zero. Calibration reset, it's confirming it's done that. We press the back button again now, importantly, when we put the leads back together, which could have caused a problem in the first place, we go base to base with the crocodile clips, not top to top, because that then is going to introduce extra resistance through the springs. So make sure we go base to base on the croc clips, waggle them around to make sure there's no contact problems. Press zero again. Now we've got the green zero. Just to confirm the leads are now properly zero, push the button. There we go, as we would expect, 0, 0.00 ohms um, and a nice thumbs up. So that's how you um, sort out the error message, RCAL greater than ARMIS. So in the previous section, we talked about zeroing and unzeroing leads for continuity, along with removing the error message, which can come up, which says RCAL greater than ARMIS. We're now going to talk about, equally importantly, zeroing leads for the loop impedance testing side of the instrument uh, for both the MFT Pro and MFT Pro Plus. Vitally important, particularly when we're really close to a substation where low values of resistance and additions to that from the leads can have a massive effect, particularly on short circuit current, etc. So I've got my plug shorted out with the spring adapter that comes as part of the kit. So I've got all of the pins shorted together. Come back to the tester, tell it that we're going to carry out the zero. What you've got the option to do here is tell it whether you're zeroing out your distribution board lead set or the lead for carrying out the ZS tests, obviously the plug. We've got that set, you can see that's highlighted. So we press zero. Telling me the resistance of that lead is 0.147 of an ohm. Press return, so it's now come up green. So we now know that that lead is compensated properly for carrying out a ZS test without including the resistance of the lead. As we've just shown you, we've talked about the zeroing of the mains lead when you're carrying out a loop test on the MFT Pro and MFT Pro Plus. Obviously, we've got a similar situation where we've got the distribution board lead set where these, particularly on our unit, are longer than normal. So we need to make sure that we're not including that resistance in the overall circuit, particularly again for ZE when we're really close to a substation where we've got exceptionally low values of resistance. So we set as previously for zeroing the mains lead. We now tell it that we're going to zero the distribution board lead set. And as you can see, I'm still using the little spring adapter that comes with it. This time it's configured with the four mil connectors. Telling me that the leads are unzeroed currently. So we press the zero button. 0.038 of a known for that lead set. Thumbs up, back we go. Confirming that the leads are zeroed and we're now good to carry out our loop impedance test using the distribution board lead set with the leads compensated for and not adding to the resistance.